What's up, YouTube? It's Sydney Island here. That's Island with a Y, not an S. And this is the Why Are Pisces So Sexy YouTube video. And um, I got my list here. Uh -huh. Why are Pisces so sexy? Okay, Pisces is a water sign. And typically water signs are very emotional, intuitive, um, creative. Um, they are deep feelers. And Pisces definitely emits all of the water sign traits. And uh, the first thing that I put for Pisces, it, uh, as far as why Pisces are so sexy, is that y'all are bold and y'all are not afraid to speak your minds, from what I've noticed. Of course, this will not apply to all Pisces, but this is what I've noticed about a lot of Pisces, um, is that y'all just like... Y'all let it out. Like, however y'all feel, y'all just let it out. Y'all can be kind of loud and um, dramatic and have, like, dynamic personalities. And you just kind of just, psh, just the words just come out. And you're not afraid to speak your mind. Like, instantly. As soon as you have a thought, you, you say it. And two good examples of Pisces who are not afraid to speak their mind, Tamar Braxton and Kay Michelle, both um, beautiful black women, R&B singers who have amazing singing voices and are just amazingly talented at what they do. They both, if y'all, if you see these two women on their reality TV show, Tamar Braxton from the Braxtons, she is the sister of Tony Braxton. Um, and she, everybody already knows that Tamar Braxton is not afraid to speak her mind. Like, it's so obvious. Like, if she, if she's not feeling it, she'll let you know. And K. Michelle, who's also a Pisces, was the same way. I mean, <laughs> y'all saw how K. Michelle was on, um, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. She, she was always getting into it because she just didn't have the tolerance for BS. She just always spoke her mind and said, hey, I'm not really feeling that. And so, um, also, I have, I have a, um, I have another, like, a list of other Pisces, but I'll, I'll mention the other famous Pisces in a minute. But that's just one thing I've noticed about Pisces, is that y'all can be very bold and unapologetic in y'all speech. Y'all just say what y'all gotta say, and y'all make no apologies for it. Number two, Pisces, y'all can be very opinionated, which is sexy to me. I think that opinionated people are sexy. I think it's very sexy to have your own mind and to not have to wait for somebody else to tell you how you feel. You know, Pisces already know how they feel. They already have an opinion. And that's very sexy. That's very attractive to me. Number three. Pisces are intuitive and spiritual. Okay, let's see. I put one foot into the other side, the spirit realm. Psychic. Good at, you know, palmistry, metaphysical stuff. Y'all are highly empathic. So what I mean by all this is, is that what I've noticed about water signs is that y'all y'all are kind of like psychics. And Pisces are definitely like really psychic. Y'all can feel other people's pain. Oh, and by the way, I, I, my phone might ring in the middle of this video because I ordered some chicken wings and they calling me to let me know it's here. So I hope to God that that, that don't happen. But um, <laughs> um yeah, Pisces, y'all just um, y'all are really good at metaphysical stuff. Y'all will probably make really good, you know, um, palm readers, really good tarot card readers. And by the way, I bought myself a new set of tarot cards by Wisdom of the Oracle divination cards. Um. Who is this? Colette Baron Reed. And I just bought these and I'm into it. Like, I always wanted to do tarot cards um, for like years. And now I just bought some and I've been doing some readings and I'm, I'm, I'm in love with it. Like, it just, metaphysical stuff is just, it's all me. And it just got me thinking about, you know, tarot card readings, Pisces. I feel like Pisces would be really good tarot card readers because in order to be a good tarot card reader, you have to be in tune with your intuition. You have to be very empathic. You have to be able to feel people's energies and people's vibes. And Pisces are really good with feeling vibes and they just got that psychic energy. And I feel like a lot of Pisces probably don't even know it. They're probably not aware of it. But once they get in tune with that, um, for Pisces, it's very powerful. And y'all can make some really powerful psychics, some really like powerful, like, um, like mediums with a crystal ball. You know, I can see your Vilja, you know, I can see that for Pisces. Number four, um, Pisces are very artistic. I, I, there is not ever a Pisces that I've met that has not been artistic in some kind of way, that has not been good at arts in some kind of way. And y'all can secretly draw and do like brilliant arts and crafts. I had this one friend who was a Pisces girl and she was so good at doing nails. Like she would do like these cute little like artsy kind of like 
um, images on them, like drawing, like she would draw penguins during Christmas time. And like, she just had, she always had these really pretty artsy nails and it was her own nails. And she would always paint them with nail polish. And she was just really good with like nail art. It was like to a point where I'm like, you're like a professional artist here. Like I've noticed that. I've noticed like a lot of Pisces, y'all just are closet artists and y'all are good at it too. Like really good at it. Like y'all just have this inclination towards like, you know, expressive, like beautiful artistic stuff. Hence why, you know, Tamar Braxton and Kay Michelle are such amazing R&B singers because they just have this, when they sing, they're really expressive with the way that they sing. And it's just so beautiful. Number five, Pisces, y'all look good at making dreamy music. I forgot I even wrote that. And I put Kay Michelle, Tamar Braxton, and Janae Aiko. Is that how you pronounce her name? Janae Aiko? Janae Aiko? Whatever. But <laughs> all the all of y'all um, Pisces are like really good with music. Y'all music are dreamy. It's like Pisces just got this like whole otherworldly like vibe about them. Like y'all just got this like this heavenly like ethereal kind of like aura over y'all and y'all can like mesmerize people and captivate people but just like the way that you look at somebody in the eyes y'all just got this like sweet innocent kind of vibe where you can like look probably like charm your man and like look him in the eyes and give him that kind of look like you know like <laughs> okay baby <laughs> and just like really cute and, and and sweet and just got this kind of like too good to be true kind of uh aura about y'all that is just really beautiful and y'all can kind of just put people under y'all spell y'all can be kind of like witches in the way that y'all like look at people and, and 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 talk to people in the way that you flirt it's just it's 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 really beautiful like Pisces have really beautiful auras and around them and and sometimes it's like that they can look a certain way but they still have that like they, they don't even may not even be like dressed up and looking their best, but they still have that 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 heavenly like Piscean energy around them, which is really it's pretty. Y'all have this like fairyland, like fairy tale, fairyland, wonderland kind of vibe about y'all, and um, it makes me think about how Tamar Braxton she had an album, I think it was like a Christmas album, and she and it was like this whole wonderland kind of vibe um on it, and it was just like a really she just the way she sings, she sounds like an angel. It's just perfect and k michelle too it's just like perfect it's just y'all pisces know how to do it and janae aiko her music has this like fairy like 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 uh, just like this delicate witch kind of music where it's just like i don't need you i don't need you i don't need you but i want you and it's just so it's just so sweet and so beautiful um, number six, Pisces, y'all are very imaginative. That is also a thing that makes y'all very sexy. Is that y'all, y'all just, y'all minds are like all the way out there. Y'all thinking about this, that, that. Y'all just, y'all can be kind of delusional too, to a point. And it makes y'all really great artists because y'all got this mental chaos going on that makes y'all just kind of disconnected from reality and, and disconnected from society. And y'all just, y'all just have y'all, y'all just kind of have your own little world. Y'all just be in your own little world and imagining all types of things. And who knows what Pisces imagined, but I'm pretty sure it's, it's incredible. And I'm pretty sure that it's, it's out there and it's insane. <laughs> And so Pisces, y'all just have this heavenly vibe about y'all. I, I recently did a, a reading, a tarot card reading for Pisces. And uh, it was it was beautiful. Like her energies, it was just heaven like. It was just like I felt these energies because when I do tarot card readings, like I'm just getting into it and I, I'm all about vibes. I'm all about energy and I'm all about the visions that I get. And I just got this like really wonderful like Piscean energy. It was beautiful. It was very heavenly, you know, and very um, gentle. Um, number seven. Y'all are dreamy, soft, delicate. Y'all have like a delicate, lovely air about y'all. Y'all can be very alluring and somewhat mysterious like Scorpios. Um, um, I think about mysterious Pisces. Rihanna, for an example, um, when I tried to guess her sign, I thought she was a Scorpio because she had this, that mysterious kind of vibe like a, Scorpio, a lot of Scorpios have. Um, and um, like Pisces and Scorpios have that kind of similar energy where sometimes um, you think... Like, you think that a Pisces is a Scorpio because they just have this vibe. You can't figure them out sometimes. But they just kind of got this, this kind of poker face. And Rihanna, I think that her sex appeal has a lot to do with, like, her the fact that she's a Pisces. And she's a water sign. And y'all kind of got this fluidness about y'all, the water signs. And um, it's just beautiful to see. And, and Rihanna, like, 
she's she's obviously a sexy Pisces. Like you can't look at Rihanna and say that she's not sexy. Like she clearly is sexy and she she rocks her Pisces energy. She really got it going on. And one thing I've noticed about Pisces is that um y'all have like a really strong sexual like vibe about y'all that is not too over the top. It's very sexy. It's like it's very Sometimes it can be somewhat raunchy. <laughs> I'm not like saying it in like a ne I'm not trying to be negative in this video. Apparent like obviously I'm I'm trying to be as positive as I can be because I really do want to make people feel good when they watch these videos. So um for Pisces sometimes can have that just really, really sexual kind of vibe and somewhat it can be a little bit vulgar a little bit, but it works with Pisces, you know, for Rihanna if for example it works because it's it's natural. It's that you're in touch with this natural kind of sexual vibe about them. It's not over the top. They really are actually Pisces are Pisces are freaks, okay? And that that sexual image that they got going on, like that's real. Like they really are freaky like that. And uh, and so um um other another Pisces is Albert Einstein, who was a freaking genius. He just he had all these quotes that I just felt was really touching and really like like mind blown i remember he had all these theories that like like we're all living at the same like the past the present and the future is all happening at once is all happening at the same time which is like it's hard for the human mind to really fathom and to try to understand but um <laughs> like Albert einstein was just a, a very open-minded person which is typical for pisces y'all are very open-minded because y'all are the opposite sign to virgo and virgos can be kind of judgmental and narrow-minded and don't really want to try new things just kind of want to you know stick to their old beliefs whereas pisces is more open-minded and they're willing to you know stretch their minds and, and think and think and think and go really far and and, and not just with just logic but for pisces they think within their imagination and they come up with all types of insane stuff with imagination and i remember albert einstein said that uh it's it's uh, like imagination is more important than knowledge it's more important than than um logic imagination is more he said that and that's such a pisces thing for him to say he's like imagination is more important than anything else you have if you don't have imagination you don't have anything and i completely agree with that because imagination is what created everything on this planet i mean before before there was actual lipstick it was it was a thought it was it was an image in somebody's mind you know so imagination is is so important and we need y'all pisces because y'all have great vast imaginations and um and also another pisces that inspires the crap out of me is ralph smart the youtuber shout out to ralph smart um you are so inspiring you just ugh, you never fail to give advice that's just like mind-blowing like y'all pisces have this mind-blowing kind of knowledge because y'all are imaginative and y'all are y'all able to think all over logic because logic can sometimes be kind of um it can be kind of like it can hold you back like a, a logic can hold you back whereas imagination it helps you to to get forward and to get far because you can imagine yourself like slaying it and Ralph Smart always talks about like just imagine yourself slaying it visualize yourself slaying it visualize yourself doing it but succeeding and you can with imagination you can do anything if you have imagination if you can imagine yourself succeeding you can succeed and so and y'all Pisces energy just <laughs> just came in for this video. It's great. This is a great video. I'm very, I'm very, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased. So yeah, uh, shout out to Russ Moore. Thanks for that. Thanks for all your videos about indigos and spirituality and staying woke and meditation and ve being vegan, and eating healthy. Shout out to you, Russ Moore, because you're a great Pisces. You really work your Pisces energy. He mentions that he's a Pisces a lot, and um, you know. He's it's pretty special, pretty special. He knows, he knows how intuitive and how psychic and how imaginative he can be. And y'all Pisces need to own it. Y'all Pisces need to just take control of y'all energy because y'all Pisces have a lot of energy and y'all have a lot of imagination and y'all can just exude this this energy of life itself. And Tamar Braxton, she really does that with her energy. She's just like so flamboyant and and dynamic and she just exudes life. And y'all Pisces, once y'all get in touch with that and once y'all love yourselves. Y'all can y'all can do that. So y'all Pisces are amazing. I would love to date a Pisces or or at least be close friends with a Pisces. I mean, I've had acquaintances and some friends, but I've never been like really really close to a Pisces before, um, which I really want to because y'all are y'all are special. Y'all are unique, and um, I feel like that y'all will be very loyal and very very caring. Y'all can be very kind. 
and very selfless. So, um, yeah, I feel like I can kind of go on and on uh, about Pisces. Y'all are special people, but that's all I have for this video today. Um, um, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, hit that notifications bell next to the subscribe button so that y'all can get like all updates on my videos. I make great videos and y'all won't be disappointed. So that's all I got for y'all. Peace out. Let me go eat my chicken wings because I'm hungry.